Despite a shift in government support for renewable energy, private projects are still going forward, and new technology is making their construction more efficient. Diana Olak has the details of her continued series on climate-based startups. Diana. Well, Brian, if you've flown or driven across the country, you've probably seen a solar farm. The panels are meticulously placed, and that used to take a lot of time to do, relying, of course, on human power. But now robotics are taking on the job. This is CivDot, a four-wheeled robot that can mark up to 3,000 layout points per day with up to 8-millimeter accuracy. It can ride over rugged terrain and work through rough weather. The brainchild of California-based Civ Robotics. Our secret sauce is being able to take the blueprints and perform the marking really, really precisely, efficiently, without needing to be a, you know, a skilled surveyor in the field. The data for manual surveying is simply uploaded into the Civ software. The operator then chooses the area they want to mark and presses go. The robot does the rest, saving both time and money. The manual surveying equipment, if you use that in the field and you have three crews, they will need three land surveying handheld receivers. That alone is already equal to how much we lease our machines in the field. And all the labor savings is, is just another benefit. Civ Robotics has more than 100 of these in the field now, primarily being used by renewable energy companies, but also by oil and gas. It's currently working with Bechtel on several solar projects like this one. These were usually pretty highly paid field engineers um, that we would send out there, and, and they might be able to do 250 or 350 pile marks a day. Um, with the CivDot robot, we're able to do about 1,250 a day. Civ Robotics is backed by Alicorp, FF Venture Capital, Bobcat Company, New Fund Capital, Trimble Ventures, and Converge. Total funding to date, $12.5 million. As for competition, there are some other robotics doing markings on things like soccer fields and highways, but nothing like what the solar industry is going to need to do over rugged terrain as it continues to expand. Brian?